Hi Team Aquarius, this is Caroline here with your love reading. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The energies can go either way, which means reversed, okay? So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind this will not resonate with every Aquarius on the planet, okay? If this doesn't resonate, you can always check your other um, placements. Um... That's about it. Okay, so Aquarius, I hope this is your birthday season. I wish you all the best, and um, I hope all your dreams come true, okay? So let's get into the reading. I also wanted to tell you I appreciate all your support with this channel, your likes, shares, comments, subscribes, booking personal readings with me. So let's get into the love reading, okay? <laughs> so um, Aquarius, this is the angel of marriage okay so I'm the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now so what this is telling me okay is whether you're married or not doesn't matter okay it's how you show up in partnerships and how the other person shows up in partnerships and let me explain okay so whenever somebody behaves a certain way you're asked to look at them in a different perspective, in a higher perspective. And why is this, okay? So let's say someone has some type of behavior that you do not like, okay? When it has to do with your love interest or whatever. Now keep in mind, this this is, um, I'm talking about romantic connections here, okay? So this person, um, let's say behaves in a certain way, you don't like the way they have this behavior, they have this habit that really gets on your nerves or whatever, and it, it causes a lot of like chaos or conflict or arguing and fighting. Um, for example, okay, I'm gonna, I'm bringing this up as an example. This is the scenario, okay? You're asked at this time to really look at that person, your person, okay, and look at how that specific behavior or habit is the same as one of your parents okay so this happens a lot in connections this happens a lot in soulmate connections okay so if you feel like you're with your soulmate or your ex is a soulmate or whoever you're you're reading I mean you're watching this about right you're asked to look at them from that perspective okay so maybe they're doing something that's like your father or maybe they're doing something like your mother because that's that is being triggered okay so that behavior that they have or the way that habit that they have that's really getting on your nerves or is disappointing for you however you react to it pay attention to it and see why it bothers you so much because you'll find out that it actually is mirroring some type of behavior or habit from one of your parents, okay? And like most people, you know, everybody loves their parents, okay? Most people do, not everyone, but <clears throat> you you have to look at it from that perspective and see what you're trying to learn, okay? Because everybody in your life is going to bring something that is a part of you, okay, that you don't like, right? So look at that behavior and trait because this is Daniel, this is Angel Daniel, and he's helping you with whatever it is. So it, if it's, you know, you're in a marriage and it's not working out, or if you want to be married to this person and you feel like you just can't see eye to eye with them and it has to do with certain behaviors, uh, Daniel's here for you to take a look at that, okay, and see what it is what's being triggered with that response, um, what's being triggered by that behavior or habit that this person has that you just can't stand, okay? Some of you can't stand it, I feel it, um, and you try to push this person away because of it, okay? Or it could be vice versa, so keep that in mind. You could be triggering something that this person doesn't like about you when it has to do with, you know, something that is related to each parent. Okay, or whoever whoever raised them, that's what I should say. Some people are not raised by their parents. They could be raised by, you know, their aunt or their grandma or grandfather, whoever, okay? So whoever raised you or whoever raised your person, keep that in mind. It's coming up to be healed, okay? It's coming up so you can accept that part of them, okay, and see it from a higher perspective. What are you learning from that habit or that behavior that's annoying you, okay? So 
this is great. This is great because once you clear that, if you are not, you know, committed to this person or it's an ex or whoever it is, and, you know, I feel like somebody either, I don't know, I feel like somebody's coming back to really get, you know, to really, like, work it out. Okay, I'm getting work it out. All right, this is interesting for some of you, right? Okay, so let's see what these cards are. Wow, that was a long message. This is interesting. All right. Let's see for my aquas. Okay. All right. This is interesting. All right. Whoa. I like this energy. Okay. So whatever. Okay. So this person, whoever this is, this is person number one. Okay. I feel like this person was sad in the past. They could have um, not taken your offer. Okay. But I feel like this person um, was pretty depressed about something, about possibly losing you. They do have, um, you know, this is what I want to say. I feel like somebody was taken for granted, okay? So, Akko, this could be you or your person. I feel like somebody was not realizing what they had, okay? Okay. And that's why they didn't put any action towards this connection. They probably couldn't see what the value of this is, okay? And I do feel like for some of you right now, you're not communicating. I don't see like a back and forth report between you two um, for some of you. But the point is, is this person, um, I think, is coming into some type of realization where, look, I want to... I mean, this is what I want to say. I feel like this person wants to communicate, okay? For those of you who are not communicating with this person or vice versa, this person is wants to come towards you and offer you something solid, okay? So it could be in the past they had some type of, you know, oh, okay, my spirits are saying relationship phobias, okay? So this could have to do with how they grew up, how they probably you know, came from like a divorced family or, um, broken family. Okay. Broken family, whatever that means. Okay. So, or this could be you. So I feel like somebody is getting over relationship phobias. They keep saying that somebody's getting over that and they're moving slowly. They probably are moving slower than you want to. If you still want this connection, whoever this is, you know who this is, Aqua. So, this person is coming in slowly, but they're offering something solid, okay? But I feel like they're moving slowly. And for some of you, this person has not been communicating with you for a while, okay? Um, but that is it's coming to a close. I feel like this person is about to reach out, okay, whoever this is. I, I feel like this person really didn't see how things were. I feel like they really didn't see how... That's what I'm getting, how... Um, They didn't value, okay, the emotional fulfillment in this connection. I don't think they realized it, okay? So I do feel like this person is about to come, is about to um, make a move. They're about to communicate. And they felt like this time that they were at a crossroads in their life. And it's like, I feel like this person had an epiphany, okay? And now it's like they want, they're going to surrender, okay? This is an ending. So I feel like they're going to finally surrender to whatever situation was keeping them from connecting with you on an emotional level, okay? So this person wants to also use practicality is what they're saying when it comes to your connection but I do feel like this person's like, okay, I need to release this, all this baggage, whatever baggage it means um, to you, Aqua, or this person, whoever you're connecting with, okay? They're finally surrendering. And I do feel like this person has been going through, um, 
some type of a crossroads where they had to make a decision, okay? And their decision is, is to surrender, to surrender to this connection and um, solidify it, okay, in some way. So let's see how the other person feels. This is good. I like this. So I feel like for those of you who lost hope when it has to do with this connection and you still want it, okay, because I feel like some of you don't want it. You're over it. Let me know in the comments if you still want this connection because I feel like this person is going to, um, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> this is, wow. What is this? Okay, let's see. This is interesting. Hold on, guys. I'll show you the cards in a second. Mm -hmm. okay. So with this other person, this is um, death card. This is, okay, this is what I'm going to say. I feel like this abruptly ended, this connection, okay? Um, somebody just got... So this is what I'm getting. Um, whoever this person is, it's like something, your connection just abruptly ended. This is tower energy. This is, this, I don't know what happened guys, because this is a, you know, general reading, but something came and just abruptly ended your connection. Okay. But I feel like somebody still wants to fight with this connection and it's this person they're like, I'm going to do everything to make this connection work, okay? Um, it's just that they didn't know how to. But what I'm feeling with this is that this person also was very hurt, okay? This is the Three of Swords energy. Um, I do feel like this person could have been hurt and... Um, they were already hurt before this ending came about, okay? Um, so for some of you, I feel like this the ending was divine intervention is what I'm getting from spirit. So something had to come in and just like, so something happened and it just ended, okay? But whoever this energy is, as dis disappointed and hurt they are, it's like they... Um, they're still fighting for this, okay? They're still fighting for this connection. Uh, they don't want to give up, okay? I don't want to give up on your love. Wow. Aqua. This is this is really nice energy. And whoever this is, it's like, this is divine feminine energy, okay? You don't have to be female. This could be a male. It's like they want to start all over. So whatever has panned out in your connection, this person wants to start all over, okay? And they want to, um, they want to reconstruct the dynamics of this connection, okay? So they've realized that things haven't been working the way that things have been going. And this person does want to, you know, fight for this connection. That's what I'm seeing here. Like they want to start all over. I love this energy. Okay. Whoever this is, it's like, regardless of the fact that some things happened in the past, there was heartbroken. There was, you know, a lot of adversities is what spirit is saying, but they want to start all over. They want to build something new. And I do feel like whoever this is, it's like they're looking at it from a higher perspective. Through a spiritual perspective is what I want to say. So, yeah, they want to transform this connection is what I'm getting from this, okay? Um, they want to start all over. And they want to build something that's very abundant because I feel like, there was a lot of going back and forth energy. Somebody was very um, like on and off 
is what I want to say with their emotions in this connection, okay? So I'm going to see what this is for a second. I want to clarify what this is. Why is this here? Whoa, okay. Wow, okay, hold on. Okay. So whoever this energy is, um, I feel like they were like, um, in their mind a lot okay so instead of the stress the worry that this was bringing and they didn't see certain things this person went within okay so this person could have ignored the other person for some time there this is hermit mode but this person sees now and what they're seeing is that um the more they had their walls up, okay, the more they were not emotionally fulfilled. So this person could have put their walls up with you, aqua, or vice versa. But they, instead of, you know, being in defense mode, what this person did was they went within, okay, and the hermit always goes to find the light within, okay? And within, you could call it inner being, you could call it higher self, okay? Okay. They realize this, and what they realize with this connection is that you could start all over, but you're going to do it in a different way this time around, okay? So I feel like this person is really, okay, they, they really realize that they have something solid, and they don't want to let it go, okay? I like this energy. Hey, where did the Empress go? This is so interesting. Did I put it back in the cards? Okay. So, so I don't know. This is this is really good energy. I feel like this person really went through a transformation, guys. Whoever the second person is, um, okay. Wow. Yeah, so somebody definitely did their healing, okay, whatever this is, and I do feel like this person ignored the other person, or they pulled back, because um, they did some type of healing, um, maybe prayers, rituals, I don't know, this is the high priestess card, okay, so whoever is, was, is going through this, it's like they took a step back, so if you're being ignored, Aqua, know that this person has a plan, and they're real they're coming into realizations they are seeking higher wisdom and they are looking at things from a higher perspective whoever this person is okay and it could be that they're not communicating right now to you but i do feel like they're about to like make a move is what i'm getting with this person okay what about that Oh, there, somebody could be doing shadow work, okay? That's what I'm getting, okay? What about this? Yep. They're doing shadow work. So whoever this is, um, this is the, the, um, the devil energy, okay? Or you could be dealing, with, they just said you could be dealing with the Capricorn, somebody with Capricorn placements, but... This, this is um, somebody who really consciously, okay, took the time to heal in order before they come back into this relationship because they want to make it work. They want to start new. They want something solid and they're putting their mind to it. So if this is someone you're dealing with, Aqua, and you feel hurt that they're ignoring you or they're not really you know, communicating with you is what I want to say. It's because they really, like, they really woke up. Whoever this person is, 
they've done so much work. It's like they're if they come back around, they're gonna come back around healed, and you might you not even recognize this person. So I don't know if this person went through some kind of a transformation. Like if this is the person you're or Aqua, this could be you. Okay, this is great energy. We got the temperance, like clarifying the devil. Like that is amazing. So this person, I feel like really, um, their ego is like, um, and I know a lot of people get triggered when I say ego, but ego is not necessarily something bad. Okay. Everybody has an ego. All right. Everybody who's human has an ego. So keep that in mind. But I do feel like this person really, um, healed that the shadow side okay and this person could have not only healed it but really um learn to love and accept that side okay so this is i love this energy this is amazing like i don't know who this is aqua if this is you or the other person but somebody really like woke up and i feel like if this is not if this is you or not it's like, if this is you, Aqua, I don't know if you're going to recognize yourself. I feel like you're going through a major transformation. And if it's the person you're dealing with, they're going to come back in such a beautiful way. You might not even recognize. You're, you're going to think, like, should I pinch myself? Is this real? Like, I'm getting, like, she, just like, like, surprised, you know? And they're coming back like this, like, solid, okay? Um... I really like this energy. And the other person is surrendering, just surrendering to it, this connection. Okay. Yeah. This other person um, is really, okay, so this is what I want to say. This other person is really trying to... Um, they're making progress into healing, but theirs is slower than this person, okay? And this has to do with the way they speak. So they are trying to heal the way they speak to you, Aqua, or this is you, them. Um, because what happens is their ego comes to the forefront when they speak. So it's whatever that comes out. And I feel like this person needs some help with the throat chakra. And the solar. So this person could have issues with their stomach. Like maybe they have indigestion issues or like um, leaky gut. I don't know. Okay, that's what they said. But this is somebody who is trying to improve the way they speak because there's constant conflict going on. It's like um, sometimes they just don't want to talk because they don't want to get into an argument because, yeah, that's what I feel. I feel like this person has spoken through the ego. And they realize that. It's not that they, they don't know it. Okay. Yeah, you both are mirroring each other. Okay. This is, this is, um, they're coming out of this. Both of you are coming out of this energy. Okay. Being imprisoned by your thoughts, your worries, your stress, your doubts about this connection. So both of you are are improving. I, that's what I want to say. I like this energy. What else about the first person? Yeah, this is definitely a past soulmate for some of you. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. So this person was stuck for a long time. Okay. But we got the star card. So this person is going through some type of enlightenment and healing. This is the first person. And they could have really pushed this connection away. Because I want to I wanna stress that this first person wanted to really be free okay they wanted their wishes to be free but i think what they realized during this time when they felt stuck or when they pulled their energy back is that i want to work at this with this other person i want to i want to work at this together okay so they could have been you know selfish in the past in a sense where it's like 
it's all about me, okay? And it's because this person was somehow in the ego, okay? But now I feel like this person really wants to come forward, come forward and surrender to this connection. So, yeah, that they're getting over the commitment phobe, okay? Energy, whatever that means to you, okay? And I do feel like this person actually has, you know, um, reach some sort of enlightenment, okay? What it has to do with connection. So I feel like both of you are coming together in a different way, whereas one person's like, okay, let's compromise, I surrender, okay? And the other person has done so much healing. They are completely transforming. They have met their higher self is what, wow, I love that energy. I'm getting goosebumps. Meeting their higher self, um, doing some shadow work for some of you and doing rituals. So whatever that ritual was, um, rituals can come in different forms, Aqua. If this was you, amazing energy. I'm getting like complete transformation, man. Like, yeah. Okay, kindness. All right. Oh, wow. I love it. Okay, so kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. I think this person is really like, you both are realizing what role you are playing, okay? And when you um, get back together, make sure that, you know, you're kind to one another, okay? So because I feel like one person in the past is pretty mean the way they said things and hurt the other person. Look, look, guys, when I say mean, it's the translation of what spirit is saying is what of you, how you see it, okay? So I'm not making these words up. This is your story, okay? So individuality, you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. This is about somebody finding themselves, okay? This is about someone finding themselves on their own without this person and realizing that they could have had some type of codependent issues, okay? So I feel like this person really um, found some type of freedom when it comes to themselves, okay? They feel more free now because now it's like they're accepting themselves, okay? And there's elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. So I feel like whoever got broken up, I mean, this connection, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comments. Like there was an abrupt ending. You guys just like cut it off. Like, you know, that kind of energy. Um, and this forced someone to really raise their vibration of love. Okay. So it could be um, you were loving conditionally or vice versa. Okay. But then... It's like you realize that there's something like as unconditional love is what I'm getting. Okay, so you're really elevating at this time. I feel like both of you are. I mean, obviously one person slower than the other, but hey, it's something, right? And this person does want to work together. They want to compromise with you and build something. And the other one, um... I still, I, I don't know, I guess I put the Empress back card. Somebody else grew in their Empress energy, okay? So I really like this reading for you, Aqua. I feel like somebody wants to start over, over. The other person is surrendering and like, let's make this work. And I feel, I'm going to pull one more card actually from this deck, okay? I feel like someone thinks now that they realize that it's like, are we meant to be together? Like, they realized that. Like, something, somehow they got enlightened or something, okay? Wow, that, see? Oh, my God. Yeah. Look at that emperor. The, the empress is missing, and now the emperor popped up. <laughs> so, this is someone who is realizing that they didn't do things right in the past they could have been selfish they could have been in the ego and now they want to like they want to do it right this is interesting oh my god i could go on and on yeah a lot of regrets but we got the temperance card again you both are mirroring each other if you both are not talking 
you both want the same things just to let you know okay it's not being expressed yet um but you both want the same things okay it's just in different ways it's obviously gonna be in different ways guys so Aquarius, I hope this has helped you in some way. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like this video if you liked it. I wish you all the best. Many birthday wishes. Um, I hope this year is amazing for you. Take care. Bye.